considering the flamboyantly extravagant attire on this body, it's probable he is the Archdeacon of the Loop. There is no sign of blood or a struggle in the surrounding area, but a closer examination reveals a scattering of magic burns on his chest. On top of that, you notice a parchment roll that has been dropped beside the corpse. It seems to have something written on it. You don't hurt me! I, I'll tell you whatever you want to know! M me? <laughs> uh, uh, listen to me! Listen! I, I work for a gang. I'm here on the lead. Our campsite is at the Pathways End in the Northwest. Mind you, I'd urge you not to get yourself tangled up. I'm nothing but a runner for the leader. I don't know squat! Let me go, won't you? Arch... Archdeacon? Oh, you mean the dead one over there? Our supplier? I... I just thought he was a normal... Anyway, our leader has some business relations with that fellow, but I only know his face. S so don't kill me. I... R really? Then it must be that witch. The, the witch from the bay. All of us dealing with the South know her. The second daughter of Mortalette. She's a powerful witch. Practically everyone in Bay Reach is be... Not too long ago. Someone said they saw the witch taking a stroll with our supplier, but I assumed- And now look! She must have been the one to slaughter him! Uh, honestly! What good would lying to you do me? Nothing! Just, you know, petty thievery, good smuggling, that sort of thing. Nothing much, really. I really don't know what you're trying to do, but I honestly have nothing else to tell you. Let me go, won't you? Message was right. Come on, kill this meddlesome outlander. To impersonate a knight, first and foremost, you may wish to procure an alabaster knight's armor. Who? Do you mean the witch from the south? <coughs> so, you're looking for her. You're quite the enthusiastic sort, even willing to pay us a visit. Listen here, I have no business with that woman, nor do I want them. And as for you, regardless of what you want to do, I suggest you stay well away and keep your nose out. <laughs> I don't need an outlander. Well, let's just take that as my advice. 
Whether you're looking for a witch or what, you better... That's quite enough talk. What? Don't you recognize me? Word has it you're looking high and low for me. Venerable Dragon Slayer, you're very... At your service. It seems we work well together. Hmm... A compassionate soul. So... Do you think that those victimized children share the same- The Empire is rotten to its core. While the nobility sip fine wines in their castles, the poor starve to death in the gutters, toiling day and night for us. All the while, those on high in the clergy conspire with miscreants for self-serving agendas, peddling the very children. If this is truly the jewel in the crown of human civilization, then such a thing has no place exist. As for these bandits, there is less still to pity. If I'm correct, the children earmarked as cargo are probably still hold to find them. Whatever happened, they didn't deserve this. You... you're not one of... Uh, are we... Please, please, don't hurt me! I promise I'll behave! Is this... See? I told you we make a fun- You needn't worry about the children. I'll have my people find them some- As for right now... I believe it's time to discuss our Be frank. What do you want from me? Hmm... You do know this is a poor time for travel, don't you? The orcs could invade the Eastern Plains any minute. That's the entire reason my father refuses to let outlanders into Beirut. Can I ask what it is you intend to do? Oh... I'm typically not overly enamored with Utir's, but, well, you seem like a decent enough sort, Dragonslay. Take this. Show this to the guards at Crimson Iris Port. Give them my name and they'll grant you entry to the city. It's time I made a return of my own. I look forward to meeting you again in Bayreach, Dragonslayer. Halt! The Duke has decreed. Out if you want to enter, you must first prove yourself. Are you in possession of anything that proves your identity? Oh! You're a friend of Madame Flora. I'm terribly sorry for my route. Please, go on in. You're free to roam around. Oh, no need for such pleasantries, Dragon Slayer. Flora has already informed me. Please excuse the recent closure of Crimson Iris Port. Courtesy of the Orcs, we've been forced to exercise more caution. Of course, heroes such as yourself are always welcome here. 
Name your requests, and we'll do our best to accommodate you. It would appear that the rumors are true, then. After Flora told me you'd caused abnormal tremors in the Empire's tainted tower, my advisors resorted to So you really came here to find the place where the dragon corpses are buried? And the legends about orcs absorbing the dragon remains are true? Ah, absolutely. The Mordelets and the Ognicor Royals have always been close kin. Moreover, these are times of peril, endangering the Empire's survival. So it's natural that as for your desired destination, the Eye of Therme, there are certain issues for which you will want to be prepared. Indeed, the Eye of Therme is one place that buries evil dragons' bones. However, in recent years, the heart of the Eye of Therme has begun experience. Some believe this is caused by the magical power of the dragon corpse itself. But the true cause, there are rumors of monsters spawning near the Eye of Therme recently. So the surrounding residents do not dare. If you must head there, then please be very careful. If you have further questions, you can talk to Flora. She's already returned. Good luck, Dragon Slayer.
I am here. Fly for me! <laughs> Try to hurt me! <laughs> Worry not. I am here. Fly for me! <laughs> Try to hurt me!
Try to hurt me! 